what was he doing with his hair? Like, did you watch the <laughs> video again and just look at the many different forms that his hair takes? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, one, two, three. We good! Hello, everybody. So today, we're here to rank some TikToker apology videos. And how this is gonna work, before we rank them, I'll say like a quick background of what the TikToker is apologizing for, and then we'll place them in the tier that we think is good. So on the top, we have acceptable. Then yes. we have you're okay, I guess. Then we have you can do better. Mm -hmm. Then it's on thin ice. And the last one mm -hmm. is just what were you thinking? <laughs> Honestly, so many of them could go into what were you thinking. <laughs> but, um... Hey, I, I made new customized yes. tiers for this list. Good job on flexing those creative muscles. Good for you. You get a gold star. Hey, what's up, you guys? I just wanted to make an apology video for the video that's been spreading around. What I said is wrong and does need to be defended. What I said was not right in any way. First up, we have Ooh. Chase Hudson. So Chase Hudson. the thing he was apologizing for is he said the N word. And so what do you think about his apology? Um, okay, one, why does it have so many cuts? My guy really had eight cuts in a one minute apology video. Why couldn't he just say it all in one take? Like every two Dude. seconds there was another cut. <laughs> it was I... the apology was only one minute long, but there's yeah. at least like ten cuts inside. Yeah, like why would you need to do that many cuts? It already looks like he's low key reading off a script and Dude, I just I just wanna know why he's like mumbling and whispering. Why is he so quiet? Like, Dude Speak louder, because I, I I had to turn my laptop volume all the way up, and I still could barely hear what he was saying. But maybe if he doesn't speak loud enough, maybe he can pretend that it never happened. And it Dude. sounds like he's, like, writing an essay. Like, the uh, oh. <laughs> it's like when you're reading your essay to yourself, and you're like, I really apologize for the things I'm saying. <laughs> he's like, guys, I, I just want to say, like, uh, um, Welcome I to Apology to ASMR. For, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Literally, the end of his video when he said thank you it was so quiet. Like, he was like, Thank you for your time and have a good day. I was like, Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Dude, he sounds like me in like saying. elementary school giving a presentation. Like, thank you guys for listening to my presentation. <laughs> Again, Chase Hudson succeeds in making me feel uncomfortable for the 900th time. <laughs> I, like, I get it. The, the apology, he did like address what he did wrong he, but like he did address it, what at he the did. same time it was kind of like i don't know it didn't feel like an apology for it me. didn't feel like an apology because he cut it so many times you could have just done it in one take also like it was like he had to keep thinking of new stuff to say to make, to make the video <laughs> he longer he could have so like, he could have just <laughs> written it all down it's not yeah, it that didn't difficult go. Why did he need to- if you're going to take that many clips and like cut them and stitch them all together, you might as well just take multiple takes of just exactly. one continuous. It just doesn't feel very genuine. Also just because he's playing with his hair the whole time, he was- I don't- his- what was he doing with his hair? Like, did you watch the <laughs> video again and just look at the many different forms that his hair takes? Ooh, 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 ooh. I feel like his hair was more expressive than his voice in this entire apology. Like, <laughs> so, so where where would you put him? I would put him in like on thin eyes. On thin eyes. Yeah. I feel like it's between like you can do better and on thin eyes. Yeah, it's like Should somewhere we, we can, there. Okay, on thin eyes for now, but we can yeah. always like change. Um, my step siblings, like my stepmom, is from Egypt and. All that stuff. I think I'm sorry. Bruh. Okay, next we have Nessa Barrett. And okay. so the reason why she had to make an apology is basically she posted a TikTok with her friend where they danced to the audio of a man singing 
a Quran verse. I'm so sorry if I'm saying that wrong. But basically, they didn't realize that the man was actually reciting a Quran verse, which is, I believe, it's like a religious text of Islam. Yes. Please correct is. me if I'm wrong. But no, this is I'm according pretty, to Google. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. I should okay. put a disclaimer. Um, uh, neither of us belong to any of the groups that were affected in these videos, The as in, like, the recipients of mm-hmm. the offense. So we don't have any authority to speak on behalf of any of these groups, and that's not what we're trying to do here. We're just yeah. here to comment on how uh, how genuine we feel these apologies were. Uh, yeah, like if they, they actually were. addressed what yeah, their they apology should be about. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, so personally, I feel like this apology is one I feel of like the this worst apology ones out was there. Shit. <laughs> This, so okay okay let me just say okay so the apology in the apology video i i don't even know what she was thinking so you know how she danced to the audio right yes like, you're I, not supposed to do that how old and the was funny she thing this? is her excuse for it was my, my stepmom, stepmom is, is egyptian, egyptian. <laughs> so like um i guess i can dance to it like what that's not what? like what? that doesn't even make sense because th- there's a that's like saying I have a black friend, so I can that, say that. Hey, that's that's the exact same energy as I have black friends. Yeah, it's not, like, it's not even joking. It's the exact same energy. You guys aren't even blood related. You have no authority over. No, you can't do that. Also, wait. Okay, genuine question: How old was she when this happened? Was it last um, year? I'm guessing like seventeen. Seventeen or, years. Okay. Uh, again. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, how old is she right now? Yeah. 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 Oh, she was like 18. Eight. Okay, with all of these TikTokers, the all of these TikTokers, I'm pretty sure, were 17, 18 when all of this happened. That is like juniors and seniors in high school. I know that you guys are teenagers, Dude, but if you you're can't 17, possibly 18, be... you should know. Like, yeah. <laughs> you should know. Like, I get it if you're like middle school and like maybe you don't know what you're talking about yeah. or something. Yeah. But like, dude, you were, you're like you're like a, almost an adult, or like you are an adult. You, yeah, you should know. You that's not something you've, you should do. You've gone to school. You've done all of the units on like what's been going on in history. You there is no way that you didn't study this at some point. Didn't hear dude, about and this you know, at some point. Oh my god, the, the, there is a part of the video. I think it's towards the end where yeah. she says, "I think I'm sorry." I think I'm sorry. Like what? Those two okay. words, those two phrases, do not belong in the same sentence. In like in, you're not sorry. Like <laughs> in that oh. part of the video, I feel like there was a way it could have been misinterpreted. Like again, just playing devil's advocate right here, where maybe the I think was attached to the previous sentence and not to the I'm sorry. But either way, the apology was so badly it done. just did not seem genuine at all it, it does it's not seem... like she sat there and like tried to come up with stuff on yeah the spot. like okay like, so the there's spot. okay so cutting up and chopping up and editing the video like chase did already doesn't feel genuine because mm-hmm. <laughs> i can just imagine chase sitting on his bed with his phone in his hand being like okay I'm gonna <laughs> well, put oh, this what on. should i say that <laughs> um uh, just like taking his finger and moving like the <laughs> clips around or like do you think he had to do different takes of his videos <laughs> where he's speaking with different where he's like thank you oh wait no that wasn't good thank you <laughs> no, uh, no maybe i should say it a bit quieter um thank you <laughs> like if he had to cut it that many times i can only assume that he had multiple takes and i just want to know what the rest of those takes were <laughs> but yeah so, yeah i feel like this is one of the this this has got to be one of the worst ones it's At least one, for me, I think it something is. that just irks me so much about her apology and a lot of the other apologies on that list is it's more like I'm sorry that I offended people. Yeah, it's like I'm than, sorry I got caught. You know? Yeah. Like it's, it's not like, like I actually I actually feel sorry. Like yeah, I'm sorry I got caught. So it's more like I'm sorry you feel that way. I'm not sorry about what I did. Also, they never talk about exactly. Um, well, Nessa did. I guess this is more for somebody else, but. Yeah, for Nessa's, I also just think when you come across a video, and she already said she didn't understand what the dude was saying. Mm-hmm. I, when you come across a video like that, it's it's a slippery slope 
because uh hang on thinking it's like a slippery slope right because you we're just exposed to all these different cultures and things around us but i feel like there's still a responsibility when interacting with content from another culture just take a step back from your own culture and not apply your western centered point of view onto what they're doing because that's how you end up in situations like this whatever you think whether you think it was cute that an old man was singing you don't know what he was saying you you don't mm-hmm. know what kind of cultural significance what they're singing could be saying even if it was just like some random pop song or whatever you still need to take a step back from your own cultural position and that's why i think it's just wrong that she already knew she didn't know what the guy was saying and still decided to make a tiktok of it I feel like it, you just, like, if I was a TikToker with, like, their, like, I guess, a number of followers, I would always, like, search up what the yeah. audio is before, you know, just, exactly. like, in case. Like, you like, know you're you going to... Like, if you have that to... many followers, you should probably yeah. try and, like, stay on the safe side, you know what I mean? Yeah. And if you're so worried about getting cancelled, then you just should Just don't post be... it. Just yeah. don't post it. Yeah. It just seems like so many wrong things. And then I saw the original video too, and I was just angry. <laughs> so yeah, where I, I would, personally, I would rank this on the What were you thinking? thinking? Yeah. Yeah. She deserves okay. it. She's going in here. Yeah. And no, I'm not going to sit here and try to play victim or try to make anyone feel bad for me because that's not what I want at all. I am so, so sorry to anyone I offended, and I understand that it was really, really ignorant for me to even say that word to start off with, because I have no right or place to even say that word. Okay, next we have blessive, and this is another (laughs) N-word. Dude, why? Welcome back to another N-word apology. (laughs) Okay, just like straight up. If, I feel like if you were not saying the word, like, if you're not already used to saying the word, it yeah, wouldn't, wouldn't just, just say out. it. So yeah. the fact that they're saying it and like, like getting caught, it just shows that they're already used to saying it. Yeah, like you know at I mean? no point like, would just, oh, any random so person TikToker, like I don't get it. I don't either. There's so many other wonderful words out there. You have a whole dictionary of them, and you choose to use that word when when you've been told time and time again that you can't use it. I, Dude, like, I don't, it's a word, like, I don't understand how hard it is to not say one word. Because even if you were to it. say that it I just slipped it. out, you're, when, when you're talking, you're choosing from an array of words that you use pretty often, right? Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not, I'm not imposing my degree right here. <laughs> Like saying that this is theoretically sound in any way, shape, or form. This is just me talking. But I feel like when we talk, we select from an array of different words that we already use. And that's why some people just naturally speak with a certain set of vocabulary over other people. And that applies to, especially applies to higher pressure situations like Mm -hmm. when you're angry or when you're emotionally charged, right? Which is what was happening here because he was like reacting to Juice World's death. And just like you said, if that word happens to be one of those words you're reaching for, then it's going to come out. At no point when I hear of a tragedy, do I go... <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah! I, yeah, like, I no. would <laughs> never... I just don't understand how you could Dude, justify it as what, it just What happened. made me laugh in this apology is like, you know how he said it on a live stream, right? He was on yeah. Instagram Live, I believe. And the he moment he it. said it, he ended it, he ended the live stream straight away. It was so like, oh, oh, fast. Sh- oh, sh-. and he just ended the live stream. <laughs> but the thing, okay, the thing about this one, he, his apology, the, the one thing I like, he actually addressed what he did wrong. Like, he was like, yeah. I did something wrong. Yeah. It was my fault. Yeah. That's the one thing I like about this apology as a yeah. compo- like compared to Nessa's or something. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I would say maybe acceptable, mm-hmm. but like between between you're okay, I guess, and acceptable. Yeah. I, I think I put him at, um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good place to put him. Okay. And it wasn't like, also it wasn't like a fake, I'm so sad right now kind mm-hmm. of thing. 
he is actually just talking straight to the camera, which is more respectable than pretending that. Like you know, like the quintessential YouTuber apology, where it's like, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. wear a hoodie and I'm gonna take a long, deep breath before I start the video. <laughs> <laughs> like the James Charles. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> the... All the. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna end the video here because yes. it's getting too long. But yeah. let us know if you agree with our rankings. And we will be doing the other three TikTokers in a part two video. Part two! So, Toenail, would you like to say goodbye? Goodbye, everybody! Uh, okay! Yeah, goodbye, bye! Goodbye, everybody! <laughs> bye! <laughs>